everyone. Happy Sunday. It's Yolanda. I wanted to share with you really quick some mail art that I have been working on. One is for a swap and one I just made for myself because I had so much fun doing it. And what was so much fun, honestly, about making this whole project was that um, I took out some old products that I've had for like at least for 20 years. Um, one, the main one being a envelope template. So this swap was a handmade envelope. You just had to make one for your partner and mail it. You could do anything, uh, paint, stamp, collage, whatever. You can sew on it, whatever you wanted to do. It just had to be an envelope. So I have quite the extensive collection, which I won't show you because I ran out of time filming, ran out of room on my phone, on my iPhone, filming this right before and I had to do this again so and you know me I talk a lot so I uh, have to get right to it but the this is one of the envelopes envelope templates that I have it's a five by seven it makes a five by seven envelope and um, you know back in the day we didn't have the fancy die cutting machines um, we had a trace and cut which cutting uh, cutting things out has always been one of my most therapeutic things to do. So I loved doing this stuff. And way back when, um, I'm mainly a card maker, you know, was mainly a card maker. Um, you always wanted a really pretty handmade envelope to go with your work. So anyhow, I have quite the collection, but I took this out and I used a manila folder and, um, this is what I made. I did another she art girl. This is the one for my swap. This is what I'm mailing to my partner. Uh, the only thing I wish I would have done on here is, I'm sorry, something, I had a hair in my mouth, sorry, my hair flipped across my face and got in my mouth. Um, the second envelope that I'm going to show you, I actually painted a section right here so that you could address it, and I wish I would have done that on here. Not to say I still can't do it, but I've already posted the picture for her on Facebook in the group, so I don't know if I want to add anything now, because she might say, like, what the heck, I liked it how it was. Anywho, um... Real quick, I'll tell you. Um, I collaged sewing pattern paper on the whole manila envelope and then let it dry. Well, I heated it up with my heat tool and then I traced the envelope and then I cut it out. Um, second time I made the envelope, I to save myself, you know, to not waste and, and not collage the entire manila folder, I cut the envelope out first and then I collaged on it. That way I had less area to cover and less waste of the sewing pattern paper. So I did all that. I um, put a um, one coat of a Kaiser paint and it was a little too dark for me. So then I went over it with a baby wipe across the whole entire thing and I got this really nice pale sea foamy turquoise, really, really light turquoise. And then I stenciled on it, you know, some polka dots and this flowery looking starbursty thing and then I did the she art girl um, I did some little doodling along the edges I stamped some little circles with the cap the top of a um, paint lid and um, that's about it so it's pretty simple I'm really having fun with these girls um, it's really easy to do once you get the hang of the size of the head and the neck and um, yeah so did the same on the back. I stamped it first class so that you would know it was, you know, for an envelope for mailing. And the one thing I did do on the top up here, I wrote, um, contents are sure to make you smile. If you've followed me or if you've seen some of my work, I always like to incorporate somewhere, something, some writing of my own, from my own hand. Um, a little quote, a little, a little poem, not poem, but like little song lyrics or just something, something that you, you don't, wouldn't necessarily see right off the top looking at the, looking at the project. So yeah, contents are sure to make you smile. And down here it says, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. So that's for my partner. That's going in the mail tomorrow. Uh, then I was just, I had so much fun doing that that I created another one. And, um, this morning I was going to throw out some trash and I noticed that my husband had put some Westways magazines by the door because that's the catch all you know, if there's something to go in the recycle, somehow nobody could ever figure out that they just have to open the door and walk out to the recycle bin. So they leave it by the door for mom. So anywho, I saw the stack of Westways magazine. If you're a AAA member, you know the AAA magazine. And I've been bugging my husband forever to get rid of them because they're like from 2013. I'm like, dude, you don't need those anymore. 
So I guess this morning he finally decided he didn't need them anymore. But when I saw them, I started flipping through them. I'm like, oh my goodness, I could, I just had like this flashback from school when you would cut out eyes and legs and dresses and, and collage in school and do all that stuff. So I rescued them, brought them back here in the craft room. Shh, don't tell. And um, I started cutting one up. <laughs> so on the cover of the September 2013, it was food related and it was what's cooking, what's cooking was on the cover along with eat like a local. And so it so inspired me. So um, yeah, this is what I made and I love it. I'm going to make a card, put it in here, and mail it to myself. <laughs> All right, so real quick, what I did is I have some old recipe sheets that I got at a thrift store uh, a long time ago or when I don't, it's, yeah, I've had them for quite a while. I cut out the template first, collaged the um, recipes on front and back, you know, just the flat part, and I did have to flip this bottom half upside down so that the words would be facing the right way. And then I took some uh, paint and I did like a wash and just put a little bit of paint in this little container with water, it's mainly water, and then I just brushed it all across and it gave it that nice pretty yellow color. And then I stamped this rubber stamp, you can see it, with some paint. Um, and I thought it was more reddish, but it's almost like a wine colorish. I really didn't care for it, but it was too late, it was already down. So I did that, and then I cut this girl, she's a chef, I, they, the whole magazine has chefs in it and talks about where they, where they shop, where they, you know, what their, what, what their store, uh, restaurant is known for and such. So I cut her out because I really liked her happy face, put her down here. Um, Roxy gave me a Oct is it October afternoon, Rox, let's see, uh, no, Cosmo Cricket, she gave me this stamp set. She got me this stamp set. So I used that and there's a uh, stamp that says, I cook with wine, sometimes I even add it to the food. So I did that in a little speech bubble. Um, I stamped the little wine, the little wine bottle on scrap pattern paper and cut it out. Um, stamped the skillet on some pattern paper and cut that out. Now, let me give you a really quick tip. This is what I do. I get chipboard, well, old cereal boxes, and I cut out die shapes, like ovals and circles. Um, I have a top note one, and I use them for this very reason, as a stencil. And so I have a collection of these, and I do them out of chipboard so that they last, okay? So that's how I did this right here. Then I um, outlined it with a black pit pen. I wrote two. Um, I color, I, um, what do you call it? Shaded it with the pit pins. Um, I punched out, this is a scrap, this red and white uh, polka dot. I punched it out with my scallop punch and then just added some there, there, and there. And then stamped a little orange flower. So I love it, oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, the back is um, another stamp from that collection. It's a little chef and there's the from. Magnifique and a spoon that was on the cover of the of the Westways, and then on the back I didn't do a whole lot because I just wanted you know I I'm like this I need something with a whole lot of stuff and then something kind of more mellow so it doesn't overtake and gives me a headache if there's too much stuff going on. But I did write two quotes. One is from Julia Child and it says the only time to eat diet food is while you're waiting uh, while you're waiting for the steak to cook. <laughs> That's funny. And I love this one from Virginia Woolf. One cannot think well, love well, sleep well, if one has not dined well. So, isn't it fun, fun, fun? Oh my gosh. So I just absolutely love it. And I had so much fun making it. I did that. And then here is the next guy I'm going to use. I absolutely can't wait. I'm going to show you really quick. Hopefully my phone doesn't die. I film on my iPhone. I'm going to use this guy. Now look at his happy face. Look at that. Doesn't his face just, I think I'm going to do a birthday one, put a birthday hat on him. So stay tuned for that one. His name is Amar Santana. He is the um, a graduate of the Culinary Institute and a chef slash partner at Broadway by Amar Santana in Laguna Beach. So I'm thinking when I make it, I'm going to email it to them. What do you say? It'll be a star in my mixed media envelopes. <laughs> Just teasing. Okay, so anyhow, um, yeah, save those magazines. Not like, um, I'm not obviously not the first person to think of that. 
that this that this is so that's such an old art form but um yeah i just i was so inspired so anywho i hope you like it and i hope it inspires you to give something a try thanks for watching and um yeah create something fun have a good sunday i'm getting ready for walking dead bye